Hey guys, this is Typhorce Reacts, and back to React to Fairy Tale, episode 295, across 400 years. So, uh, yeah, I'll just play the video, and we'll get right into it. <laughs> and I'll recap the previous episode once the intro plays. So, yeah. I'm getting really tired of saying that. I can't wait until I can actually get to Naruto, <laughs> and I can stop saying, like, I'll recap when the intro plays, because... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because the intro pretty much starts right away as soon as I start the episode. So I can just recap during the end without having to give a disclaimer, I guess. So that, that's what you call it. Okay. Gonna need a lot of this to put that out. <laughs> I don't mean to. No, that was a terrible joke. I am so sorry. Okay, so, um,. Yeah, last time, um, it was revealed that, uh, that pretty much all the other guilds are getting involved now, even though Mavis didn't really want to at first because it was Fairy Tale's problem, but as Loxa has pointed out, that's a terrible idea to have in a war. <laughs> so you need all the help you can get. So, especially against uh, something like Alvarez. <laughs> so, yeah, then, uh, yeah, then, uh, then everyone's getting split up to like help the, help out their allies, which I don't know if that's a good idea either. But but I mean, whatever. So and then so Natsu and Happy went off went off on their own to um face down Zeref and well they and they knocked out quite a few grunts, <laughs> you know, in, in the army before Zeref himself showed up and Natsu got to fight him, showing off Fire Dragon King mode for the. Oh man, it's so cool to see. But and um, went to. And, uh, yeah, then he was absolutely demolishing Zeref, but Zeref gave him a nice scar in return, something I wish had, sta had stayed, though it does stay throughout the, pretty much the entire arc until the epilogue. So, yeah, then, uh, yep, and now the, the fight's, I guess, gonna continue, continue, so, because Zeref survives this, so let's see what happens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh man, there goes the tattoo. Okay. Across 400 years. I'm impressed. I've grown so strong. It's true. If there's anyone alive who can stop me, it's you. At least that's what I wanted to believe. But but so much time has passed. I shifted my focus away from destroying myself some years ago and directed those wishes toward the world at large. This moment has, once again, changed things. Although I am immortal, your next strike could very well end my life. Yet another contradiction. Hmm. It all depends on your strength. With that said, I have something to share with you. This may be the last chance I'll ever get. Huh? My true name is 
Those are some weird angles they had, but whatever. <laughs> Prove a point. All these years, and it's still impossible to reason with you. Back then, you refused to learn how to read, among other things. That's why I turned to my old friend Ignard for advice on what to do with you. Hmm. You were friends? At the time, Igneo was one of the very few dragons that harbored no hostility towards humans. We met completely by chance one day. While I was out collecting herbs for my research, he offered to share his knowledge with you to teach you Dragon Slayer magic. Igneo, Metallic Hana, and the others have devised a special plan. Mm. It would all raise Dragon Slayers. Then, after using the Dragon Soul technique to seal away their power inside the children, they would travel to the future. The ultimate goal was to slay. they'd need to travel to the future. The truth is the dragons were simply at their weakest at that moment. They needed more ether to handle in the environment. Mm -hmm. The only way they could break the seals on the dragon soul spells was by going to an era rich with the ether realm. Five children were chosen to be their vessels for this mission. You, Gajin, Lost me. Then I met Mavis, and inevitably lost her. 
And there went his injuries. There's not a soul left who can stop me. I've been on verge of all hesitation. Have the troops resume their advance at once. The target is a fairy tale guild hall. The unending power of the fairy heart shall be mine and mine alone. Also, all right. Back at Argeon. This place is pretty nice. I suppose that it was wise of you to not destroy it. <laughs> well, I was aiming for Magnolia, as you must know. You were quite fortunate that wasn't destroyed either. It's where Rand is being held prisoner. The mere thought of the humiliation she must be feeling. I can't wait to see it. Hmm. Oh boy. Wonderful. Stuck babysitting a sullen loner and a machine. But she impressed me last night. She cheered me right up. Hmm. How many of these Alvarez goons did they send our way? From what I'm hearing, nice Mercure. Thousand are in position outside of Argeon. Is it time for inside the city? Supposedly there are boatloads full of troops that haven't landed yet. Probably more than three hundred thousand. Oh yeah, Kagura is definitely like up there with my with the best girl too. Like she she's pro she's probably ranked third place. <laughs> Kagura is like a completely underrated character. Like I know she had a bunch of times to shine, but and a lot of people are, would refute me of her being an underrated character. That's just how I feel. I feel like she doesn't get enough love. heart-wrenching.
Okay, back at north. Okay. Okay, Sabretooth, nice. And, um, um, Blue Pegasus, yeah. Glad to say they aren't, you know, immediately, you know, wharf affected. <laughs> Yeah, Spriggans are showing up now. Oh boy! <laughs> and first, some of the strongest Spriggans are facing off against the four emperors of Ishgar. Still wants to be him. <laughs> He's back to normal size. Well, then again, I guess her magic was canceled out, so I guess maybe he must have turned back to normal. Now take off these shackles. Behind you need to screw around in this crappy dome hall. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well, that... Yikes. Huh. You, you probably shouldn't be laughing so loud, man. People are gonna hear you. Hmm. It's so good to see what's usually used as a comedy gag, like using actual, actually against the enemies. And Kagura can take care of it, like her. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> just, I mean, just her sheath sword could could destroy Urza's adamantine armor. So you know. Ooh. Demaria. Mm. 
No. Okay, now now one of the strongest fighters is in a coma and and all and pretty much all the fairy tales possible reinforcements are now facing off against at least one member of the Spriggan Twelve. Okay, things are going to go are going to crap now. <laughs> so, you know. Okay, yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, this this is just neat. <laughs> oh man. I Part of me just wants to binge the entire series, but I just don't have the time to do that. I, 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 I just don't. I just want to... You have no idea how much I want to binge all of Fairy Tale before, before you know, going, going to Nart, the final movie, but... That, I mean, the second Naruto movie. But, yeah. <laughs> okay. I got nothing else to say, but, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, um... I guess tomorrow we'll be doing 296, What I Want to Do, and 297, Not Until the Battle is Over. So, yeah. I, uh, don't have anything else to say, so I'm just gonna end the video here. So, yeah. Till next time, guys. See ya.